My name is Mike Fisher with TripShock.com, and I'm here to present you with the five most dangerous marine animals found on the Gulf Coast. When the purple dangerous marine life flag waves on Gulf Coast beaches, swimmers know to avoid the waters at risk of harm. But what exactly are these dangerous ocean-faring animals that ruin a perfectly sunny day of gentle water play? Sharks inhabit both shallow and deep waters across the Gulf Coast. Bays, bayous, and the Gulf itself are home to lots of different species of shark. The most common types of shark found in Gulf waters include the bull shark, thresher shark, nurse shark, hammerhead shark, black tip, and mako. Though most sharks reach large sizes and are capable of inflicting harm, not all of them are a cause for concern during your family beach day. Many, including the nurse shark, are considered mostly harmless, and other species, like the thresher, are rarely found in shallow waters. Although lifeguards typically hoist the flag when any shark approaches the beach, the most aggressive sharks to watch out for in the Gulf of Mexico are bulls, makos, and white tips. A less aggressive but equally dangerous marine animal found in the Gulf of Mexico is a stingray. Dozens of different species of rays are found in the Gulf of Mexico, but the most commonly encountered are the cow nose ray, southern stingray, and the Atlantic stingray. Stingrays defend from predators by striking with a poison stinger fixed to the tail. The stinger sting causes pain, swelling, and muscle cramps and if left untreated, serious injury or death. Though stingrays can inflict massive injury, they are mostly peaceful creatures and typically only attack when stepped on or harassed. Typically found in bayous, rivers, and small ponds, alligators sometimes appear on golf beaches or in swimming pools. During your stay on the Gulf Coast, don't be surprised to run across a gator and if you keep a level head, it'll be easy to avoid a bite from a gator's massive jaws. The American alligator can mature up to 14 feet long and 1,000 pounds, and with an average lifespan of 30 years, has plenty of time to eat its fill of snakes, fish, turtles, birds, small lizards, crabs, and other alligators. Alligators are an ancient species with ancestors dating back millions of years, and still sporting the same ferocious teeth, jaws, and scaly skin as today's modern alligators. The bite of an alligator is strong enough to crack a snapper turtle shell, giving it one of the strongest jaws in the animal kingdom. It is very uncommon for an alligator to be found on the beach or in the ocean, but it has happened before, so be sure to keep a lookout. Besides sharks and stingrays, there are a few fish you won't want to meet on your Gulf Coast vacation. The following three fish rarely attack, but are capable of inflicting painful stings, bites, and can even be dangerous when eaten. The hardhead catfish, like its relative, the gaff top sail catfish, is extremely prevalent in Gulf Coast waters. Hardhead catfish are not aggressive, but send thousands to the emergency room every year with painful symptoms and temporary paralysis associated with the sting from one of their poisonous barbs. If you happen to catch one of these tenacious fish on a rod or reel, be very careful. The lionfish has invaded Gulf Coast waters in recent years. The introduction of these interesting animals is thought to have been caused by the destruction of a southern Florida aquarium by Hurricane Andrew. Lionfish are becoming a more ominous presence in Gulf Coast coral reefs, wreaking havoc on native species. But there is a silver lining to the lionfish dilemma. They are fun to catch and delicious to eat. Despite the delicious taste of prepared lionfish meat, there is a hidden danger to the practice. The lionfish has long and spiny venomous fin rays, and the venom can seep into improperly prepared fillets so be careful when handling this exotic fish. The Barracuda has an aggressive personality to match its mean grimace. 
This large fish is commonly found in deep gulf waters, making trouble for deep sea anglers, but has been known to venture into shallow waters in search of food. As a scavenger species, the barracuda has been known to mistake snorkelers and swimmers for large marine predators, hoping to get a piece of some scraps. Swimmers have reported barracuda bites, but incidents happen few and far between and are mostly caused by cloudy water and poor visibility. So you may wonder, who's the main culprit behind the purple beach flags? Jellyfish are the most commonly encountered marine animal on the list, with millions of the translucent creatures floating in the Gulf Coast wake throughout the year. Outcomes of jellyfish encounters range from a gooey kiss to a one-way trip to the emergency room. The most dangerous jellyfish in the Gulf of Mexico are the Portuguese man-of-war and box jellyfish. A sting from any of these two animals can cause severe pain and death under unfortunate circumstances. It is best to avoid all jellyfish, even the jellyfish tissue found on the beach. So that does it for the top five dangerous marine species found on the Gulf Coast. For more Gulf Coast and Emerald Coast travel videos, visit the TripShock video channel. Once again, my name is Mike Fisher with TripShock.com, and we hope to see you on the Gulf Coast soon.